Goodbye, Betty. Lissy? What is it? Teddy Bear? Are you up? Come outside. It's a beautiful day. your noodle juice yet? I might be weaned off the stuff. Boo. Don't lose your taste for tea, old fruit. It keeps you human. We have unfinished business. We do? The final piece of the puzzle. Ruth. Come on. Let's go back to where it started. We have an appointment with a ghost. an amazing view, isn't it? And the air. Ugh. Boy, that sure is something. What did you want to show me? Why did we come here, Teddy? To Grovik. Well... Some places have gravity. What are you saying? Gravewick's gravity pulled us across the Atlantic Ocean? Grovik. N no. I'm not saying that. That's irrational. But you believe it, don't you? That we were summoned to tell their story. The letter to Frederick. The one you found in his safe. From Boston. I may have overheard a conversation somewhere, paid it no attention, but the name stuck, and Betty... And I spun a story around it that put us on this path. Do you really believe that? I mean, how often are you around people? To find my sister. But Betty's not... She was never here. It doesn't make sense. I'm a man of science. I don't know what to believe. And yet, here we are. All three of us. Is this what you wanted to show me? I wanted to be close to her. Do you believe in ghosts, Edward? You know I don't. Well, you've been chasing one for years. That's different. What about me? Us? You're not ghosts. You're alive. Fair enough. So what really happened to Ruth? I believe it was an accident. How? What happened? Your guess is as good as mine. All right, she ran from the mine and came here. And then, was she afraid? What made her run? She could have been playing. Maybe it was slippery. Just rotten luck? That's all it was? <sighs> if only Ruth had wings, like an angel, she could have flown straight to heaven. 
I hope she's at peace. And with God. Do you think that's where everyone's gone? Heaven. They're dead. I don't know what that means. Maybe there is more. I can't stop you from hoping. We'll never know what happened to everyone in Grovik. We tried our best. We'll remember them. All of them. Maybe that will give them some peace in the afterlife. Could this be your book, Edward? The one you've been wanting to write? A story about people who are isolated, left behind by the world. You can give them all a proper ending, with no annoying loose threads. Edward! Is that- Our boat? But how? Who cares? Let's catch it before it sets out on another adventure! I don't understand how this can be. Draugen got tired of sailing around in it and brought it back to us. It must have been the wind. Whatever helps you sleep at night, teddy bear. Let's blouse, while the weather's still good. I need my suitcase. So get a wiggle on, old boy. I'm going to say my goodbyes to all the things. I don't think we'll be back. Meet you at the house! <laughs> my goodness. Ah, righty ho. No rush. We have all day. Come on, Teddy. Pack your things. I'll meet you by the boat. Do you never sit still? Don't be a wet blanket. Let's make like the wind and get out of here. Let's go! Row, Teddy, row! <laughs> the water's still cold. It's a fjord, Lissy. It's almost winter. There'll be snow when we get back to Hanover. Ah, 
house will be warm. Are we going to be all right, Edward? I think so. Mm-hmm. 